and windy day in the Golden Triangle. And we're underway here. At and there's strike three caught on the inside corner. What a good start for Houston Harding in his Bulldog debut. Baseball, he won last night over San Diego. Ground ball up the middle, backhand play. Garcia knocked it down, no play at first. And State will have runners at the corners and nobody out. Now Garcia kept it on the infield at most point. Ground ball, chop left side. They'll get one at second base. The throw to first and not in time for the double play. Foskey reaches on the fielder's choice, and Westberg comes in to score from third, and the Dogs have the early 1-0 lead. Down in New Orleans. Into right field and hit well. Tanner Allen raising back, looks up. That ball's gone. Hunter Wilson yanks one out of the yard, and Alcorn State ties it at one in the top of the second. Well, that was a ball that you could tell just off the bat. It had some carry to it. Well hit ball by Hunter Wilson. That got out of here in a hurry. Keep working, keep working. Well, it's going to kill anything. The wind's going to kill everything that's hit the left today. And it's into a crosswind in right field. They got him in the book at 6'4", 280, and he gives that one a ride. The other three have been strikeouts. Hit in the air, into right field. That ball's got a chance and gone. Brad Cumbust with his first home run of the season. And the Bulldogs retake the lead at 2-1. Well, we said right field was the place to hit one today. Cumbust, the right-handed hitter, said, never mind, I'll go the opposite field. Just drives one out, gives the Bulldogs the lead again. Pitch out over the plate. Got the breaking ball up, and Cumbus with his second career home run. He hit one last year. And it's two. High chop, middle of the infield. Second baseman going back. Garcia on the move. The throw to first, not in time. Infield single for Westberg, who beats it out. And the leadoff man aboard. Shallow center field, ranging in McGowan is going to drop. Throw to second, and they can't get the force, and the Bulldogs have the bases loaded. That'll go as a bloop base hit for Foscu. Into right field. They'll wave the runner around third. Here comes Tanner Allen. He will score. Ball gets away on the infield. And runners will move up to second and third. So two runs score on the single by Luke Hancock. He'll get a couple of RBIs as Westberg and Tanner Allen score. And then Foscue able to get over to third base. Solid Char piece of hitting. Yeah, charge an error to the right fielder on the throw back. That allowed the runners to advance to second and third. Breaking ball grounded right side. Second baseman Garcia has got it. Throw it to first, and that will end the inning. Well, if you're all coin, you kind of feel like he dodged a bigger bullet. After a pair of strikeouts, now he's looking for his third. Swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. So after the first two guys reach, Harding strikes out three in a row. Community College ranks. Here's a 3-2. Breaking ball and hitting. Oh, you're right, Bart. You know, a lot of talk about the quality of football in Mississippi junior colleges, but D1 out of the Mississippi junior college ranks. Hit in the right center field. Going to be a long run. It's going to drop in for a hit. On his way to third is Westberg. Given the green light, he'll come around to score. And State has a 5-1 lead on the double by Tanner Allen. That's a difference in running with two outs. First running 
with nobody out or one because Westberg never had to check up. He was able to take off and just keep motoring. Ends up scoring pretty easily. It's, you know, you might have to hold up a little bit, less than two outs, wondering if that ball is going to be caught. But Westberg just didn't have to worry about it. Kept running, scored without a play at the plate. And he goes the other way into right field. He's going to drop in front of Tanner Allen for a leadoff single for Jamie Fobb. Gordon. Made a nice pickup going glove side. Off the end of the bat, out in the shallow center field, and back-to-back -back singles for Alcorn State to start the fifth. And it comes from the 8-9 hole. And now you turn it over and get to back to the top. Breaking ball into left center field. They'll wave the runner around third. The throw will come back into second base. And it's a 5-3 game. Nice job of hitting that time by Garcia. Just took the pitch, went the other way with it. Over the head of Westberg. Five scores from third. Jaden Smith scores from second. And Smith was going back to the bag. Throw to first, ball gets away. Runner gonna try to score from third. The throw to the plate is not in time. Patrick bounced the pickoff over to first and as Hatcher blocked it up, Daniels very aggressively taking home on the play How and making that? it five to four. Nobody out and running on the pickoff move. Hot shot off the glove of the shortstop, Jaden Smith, and that'll carry him into center field. Leadoff man aboard for the Bulldogs in the seventh. If anything for the Bulldogs. Chops it over the head of the first baseman and into right field. Logan Tanner comes in to score and an RBI single for Rowdy Jordan. Fourth RBI of the season as it hits off the artificial turf in front of home plate and hops over the first baseman driving in Logan Tanner. Fly ball hit well into right field. May have a chance. It's gone. Westberg gives one a ride out the right field and that's his first home run of the season. Bulldogs have been looking for that elusive big inning here today. Westberg just gave it to him. He drove that one the opposite field out of the park. 3-2 pitch. And Westberg absolutely destroys one the other way. Just a rocket shot to right field. That ball had a lot of tail to it. And that will be all for Diego Lopez Molina in this thing here. High chop, left side, third baseman coming in. Leggett flips it across, and that'll do it. So Tanner Leggett makes the play to end the game. And Mississippi State improves to 6-2. and two and close out this season opening eight game homestand. Well, Bulldogs trying to warm up the bats, got a pair of opposite field shots today. End up putting eight runs on the board and get the win. So Mississippi State wins it eight to four. And for Charlie Winfield, I'm Bart Gregory, saying so long from Starkville.